All right, so we have now learned how to bring media in from our tape-based cameras and our tapeless cameras. But what about uh, media from CDs, DVDs, and hard drives? Most projects wouldn't be complete without adding some music to the project, and uh, and it could be that a uh, client or, or friends have sent you video on DVDs and have asked you to edit uh, that, and it could be that uh, you already have media on your hard drives. On your computer hard drives could be audio or video media, and uh, you want to know how to bring that into EDIUS so that you can edit that in EDIUS. And so let's take uh, a few moments and uh, learn how to do that. Let's so maybe open up the new baby project that we started in our last tutorial. Okay, let's uh, maybe just take a quick moment and organize our bin a little bit. Uh, in a later lesson, we'll spend a whole tutorial uh, discussing the various ways that you can organize your media using your bin window and the different ways you can arrange it and demonstrate it and display it. But uh, for now, let's just go ahead and uh, create a couple of folders in our bin. And uh, you can do that by right-clicking on the root folder and choosing new folder. And you can give the new folder any name that you like. And now uh, we can drag shots from the uh, root folder into our new folder. And uh, I believe they're basically all shots of baby, so we can, in theory, just uh, grab them all. Okay, we do see that there was a couple of general shots that we brought in from our 7D camera. They're not baby shots. So using the shift key, we can uh, select the last shot and then brings in the whole group and we can just drag and drop that over to baby shots. Now let's uh, maybe create a new folder called music. Now the way that you can access your media that you already have stored on your computer hard drives is by just double clicking anywhere in your bin window here. And that will bring up an explorer window. Or another way that you should probably know about is up here at the top of the bin window on this button or icon strip, uh, as it's sometimes called. Choose the folder uh, here that says add to clip. And pressing on that brings up the same explorer window. And uh, once you're into this window, you can go through your computer hard drives looking for material. Now I know I have some music located on my C drive. Here it is here in a music folder. And I have a number of uh, libraries here that I have licensed and pay an annual fee for. And uh, I think that uh, there are some appropriate children's songs in the network music that I have a license for. And so we'll just go ahead and select uh, some of these. Grab a bunch of them. Now we have uh, a list of uh, network music selected. We can just hit the open key and that brings in our music. Now, besides the uh, baby shots that we brought in, uh, imported from our camera in our last tutorial, we know that we also have some other shots of baby already on our computer hard drives. And uh, so let's maybe make a new folder, right click on the root, and uh, and then once again, just uh, double clicking in our bin window will bring up our, uh, our explorer window, our navigation window. And you'll see that it brings us back to the uh, folder that we just uh, imported from. And so if we want to find media that may be on a different uh, hard drive, different folder, we need to go up to this little down arrow here and search for a new hard drive, uh, personal stuff, I believe it's on, and uh, AAA video. And here we see uh, some of our previous shots of baby that we already have stored on our computer hard drives. So let's just go grab them all and open those. And you can do that for any media clips that you have uh, stored anywhere on your hard drives. Just using the double click uh, in your bin opens up that explorer window and uh, EDIUS can uh, identify with uh, or play almost any media. You know, QuickTime files, uh, MPEG files, what have you. It, uh, it can read virtually almost any format of video and audio. And uh, still graphics as well. If we had some still images uh, that we wanted to bring into EDIUS, uh, we could do that as well. Let's see if we can find some stills. I believe also here in uh, personal stuff, we have some still shots of baby. 
And we'll probably want to go after the full res JPEGs. And uh, so let's just grab a few of those and bring those in as well. Now to keep those separate from our video clips, we may want to actually go in and uh, make a new folder and drop these in. So call these. And one way that you can quickly identify the type of media that you have here is by taking a look at this column here, the clip type. And uh, if you would like to have that closer to your media, you can slide that over so that it's showing right beside the clip what type of clip you have. And uh, here we see that we have uh, video clips here and then it uh, changes to still clips. So let's uh, just grab those and drop them into our still shot folder. All right, uh, but what about uh, media that uh, we need to import uh, through our DVD or CD player? How does EDIA 6 deal with that? Well, let's go back to our source browser. And uh, one of the features of the source browser is that it does analyze and uh, facilitate transferring material from your CD or DVD drive. We notice that we have an audio CD in the drive at the moment. Let's go ahead and click on that. Uh, Edius will analyze that and show you all the tracks that are on that CD. And if you wanted to, you could uh, preview, listen to any of the tracks. Just right click on any of the track and uh, press play can stop. But you probably know the tracks that you want. Uh, just holding down your control key, select uh, the tracks you want. Say you want one and four and seven. And once you have the tracks uh, that you want selected, just like we did when we were bringing in media from our camera, we can go up to the top panel of our source browser and select add and transfer to bin. And Edius will uh, immediately start to uh, capturing the material from that CD and transferring it to your project folder and also will bring it into your bin. And so now uh, our, our media has been imported from the CD. Now as we go over to our bin window, we see that uh, the music has been brought in. And by default, Edius will drop that uh, imported media into the bin window that you last had open. And so because we were working with the still shots, just prior to importing those, uh, Edius brought that music into that uh, bin folder. But if we want to, we can drop them into music or maybe just as a way of, of keeping this music separate, maybe we'll just uh, make a subfolder of our music bin here. So go to music bin and right click on it, make a new folder and we'll make a subfolder and just say um, And now we can go back to still shots and bring those into that subfolder of music. Now, as we noticed, I believe in our last tutorial, this source browser tool does not uh, give you the opportunity of specifying where you want to uh, save that media or give you the opportunity of naming your clips. We just notice uh, as we take a look in our bin uh, that these clips have been given some type of name uh, we're not sure where it came from. What you could do uh, at this point is go in and uh, give it whatever name you want by just kind of double clicking in that area and you can rename it. And that way when you bring it into your timeline, uh, it now shows uh, the unique name that you have given it rather than just a bunch of numbers. And if you are wondering where Edia saved that material. One, if you use your Windows Explorer and uh, go to the hard drive that you set up to save your Edia's project folders, and uh, we go there, I believe it's in the J, and Edia's projects, new baby, and look under the folder transferred, and we see that our music has ended up in our project folder. All right, DVDs. Let's uh, pick a DVD off our shelf here and uh, see what happens when we do that. Okay, we've inserted a DVD into our DVD player and we see it showing up in our source browser window. And it's uh, the label is showing up nicely here. And the various programs on the DVD are showing up along with their time and size. Okay, let's see if that has made it over to our bin. And uh, Sure enough, uh, Edius is adding the waveform. 
and now we should be able to play it in our play view window. All right, uh, just one last thing I'd like to point out before we wrap up this tutorial on importing media. Let's say you have uh, worked on a previous project in EDIUS, and you know that a lot of the shots that you used in that previous project would work great in the project that you're working in now, and you'd just love to be able to have access to all of those shots. Well, you could uh, you know, go up here and with your Explorer button, uh, navigate through all of your hard drives looking for that material that you had accessed in the previous project, but there's a better way, and uh, that's called importing a project. And how you can do that, go down to this little icon here of the file folder and uh, navigate over to the down arrow and click on it. And from the list that pops up here, choose import. Well, actually, <laughs> this is a misnomer. Uh, you would think that this would be the one that you would want to select, import project. But actually, uh, perhaps due to bad translation here from French or Japanese, as the case may be, this really refers more to importing an edit decision list from another video editing program which is nice to know that EDIUS can do that, uh, but they should have chosen a little bit different wording here, I think. The actual option that you are looking for when you want to import a, a previous EDIUS project that you've already worked on in the past is import sequence. And uh, this, again, is very bad naming because the previous project that you worked on may have had 10 sequences inside the project, but EDIUS does not allow you the opportunity to choose any given sequence in that project. So this uh, is, is kind of poor wording here, but um, just know that if you want to import a previous project, the option to choose is uh, import sequence. Now once the little dialog box pops open, we see that the wording now is more correct to import a project. Uh, now, a couple ways to go after a, a previous project. You can try the down arrow here and see if it shows up. If it's one of the last uh, eight or ten projects that uh, you have worked on, it should be in this drop-down list. And here I see it here. Uh, Angeline is baby's name, and this is the name of the project that I edited a couple of weeks ago. So we could just click on that. Uh, if it's not showing up in your drop-down list, of course, you can use your Browse button to navigate through your hard drives, looking for that project, and uh, once you find it, the EDIUS project files will come up with the familiar EDIUS logo. Over here, it will show you that it is an EDIUS project. The file extension for EDIUS projects is EZP. And uh, so look, search for your project by navigating to your hard drives, your folders, and looking for the project file. And then when you find it, just click on it, hit open, and away you go. But the one we're looking for is called Angeline. And uh, we want to make sure that the import bin is checked, and that way we'll be able to take advantage of the bin structure and the file folders that we created in that previous project. And then down here under Copy Files, if you wanted to copy the files from your last project into your new project, you could just check that, and every one of the media clips that uh, was in that previous project will now be copied physically into your new project. But in most cases, because uh, we can access that same material in our new project from the hard drive location where it is, we can leave that unchecked and uh, that way save uh, hard drive space by not having to copy material that uh, we already have access to. So with all of those selected, we can go ahead and hit OK. Edius might give you a little warning here that uh, some of the media found in this project that you're trying to import does not match the settings that you have uh, selected for this particular project. Do you wish to continue? And in most cases, you can just go ahead and hit OK for this or yes, because uh, in fact, EDIUS will make the adjustments. It'll, it'll conform audio or media clips uh, to the settings of the new project. And so uh, you'll be good to go. You'll be fine. OK, so now we see what happens here is that not only has it brought in the sequence that we worked on a couple of weeks ago, but uh, also it has brought in the file folder structure that we worked on last time. Uh, here is the uh, file folder from the previous project showing up here. We can open it up and we can see that we have sorted the shots with uh, various themes. And now in our new project, we have access to all of these folders with all of these shots. 
Now, earlier in this tutorial, we showed you how you could bring in music uh, from your hard drives. But uh, in my case, I have uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of music clips that I have in my licensed library. And I've already brought them over to my hard drives. Rather than uh, bring that music in every time I start a new project and then have hundreds of clips displayed in my music bin, and without any organization of these uh, music clips, I would find it very difficult to find the right type of music for the uh, video that I'm trying to illustrate. Each time would be a nightmare trying to find the right music. So what I have done is I have created a music project where I've gone in and I've sorted through and organized all of my music. And then what I want to do is each time I start a new project is import that music project into my new project. Let's go ahead and do that. Again, we'll use our down arrow here for our open project. Import sequence and go after our music project. And we'll use our browse button and uh, I believe it's on my C drive under my music. And just double click on there and we'll see that we have a project that's titled HDV Music. Let's click that and uh, we see that uh, we get a little warning in red here that's showing us that uh, this project was defined as 1440 by 1080 is using different settings than that it's a different uh, video format so it's giving you a little warning in red there but it's okay we can go ahead and still bring it into this project and uh, when we do we'll probably get another little warning from edius that uh, some of the project settings don't match do you want to continue well yes we do and then now Edius will bring in that uh, project. And has uh, brought in this whole organized music project. You'll see here is the HDV music project that we just brought in. And as we open up that folder, we see that uh, we have a nice file structure organized here. If we need big band music, uh, we can just uh, click on one of the samples there and get... Or if we, uh, you know, want to go after some emotional music, we can now uh, go through a much smaller file folder, only showing about 20 clips uh, that uh, are in the genre of very emotional music. If we're doing a video that needs ethnic music, well, we have a nice folder of ethnic music that's broken down further into African, Asian, Caribbean, uh, European, and so on. And uh, in this case, because we're editing a baby video, we'll probably want to check out our kids folder and listen to some of this uh, music that uh, we have at some previous time decided that uh, it is kind of appropriate for a children's video. Okay, so now we have uh, imported uh, a couple of previous projects and uh, now we're ready to go ahead and uh, edit our baby video. All right, I believe that does it for importing media from CDs, DVDs, and hard drives.